You can now adjust kerning in Canva, which is the spacing between letters, sort of. Uh, you can do letter spacing in Canva, which would be the spacing between all the letters. Kerning would be where you adjust individual spacing between certain pairs of letters. Now, you can't manually do individual letter spacing in Canva, but Canva will automatically kern something if you want them to, and it will make your text look a little better. And so what you see here is just some text that says, wow. Now, if I pull this up, you can see there's a little extra spacing here, visually speaking, uh, in this text. And what Canva has done is given you the option to take whatever font you have or whatever text you have, uh, or even everything in your design, and apply kind of an automatic kerning to it to help visually make the letter spacing more appealing. So what we would do is select a text box. We don't have to highlight anything, just kind of select whatever text box you want. And then there's this new advanced formatting option or button in the toolbar. When we click on that, we're gonna have a typography section, which will allow us to refine letter spacing for visual balance by turning on kerning. Now it might ask you to, or it won't ask you to, but it'll, prompt you to also change everything. So you could actually click this change all button to change everything in your design to have this turned on, or you can turn it on specifically for certain text or certain text boxes. Uh, I'll go ahead and click change all and you'll see kerning enabled across the design. Now, if it was already enabled, it won't really do anything. But if we go back here, we can see that the wow text actually overlaps with the wow that's below it because those letters actually moved into place. And so I'm gonna redo and undo, and you can see how the letters kind of tighten up, and that visual spacing uh, is a little bit more appealing now. So what you would do here, I'm gonna add some more text out here, uh, and we're gonna add a text box, and this text, I'm gonna add a heading, actually, so it's a little bigger. This text, I'm gonna type in the word uh, water, because I know that W in this other font isn't the best. And so we're gonna to go to another font and just try to do another example really quick. And so instead of Canva Sans, I'm gonna change the font to, I believe Waffle is in the name, Waffle Soft. There we go. And so Waffle Soft, actually if I just look at the title over there and do uh, Waffle Soft, I can see there's some issues there, right? The S and the O are a little further apart than they need to be. Um, there's definitely some other letter pairings with this font in particular because it's the font that I use on my thumbnails and it works a little better in Illustrator than Canva. However, now with kerning, I can click on this and I can go to that uh, advanced typography setting if I find it here. So if you don't have all the options here in your toolbar, there's actually these three dots and it's gonna be under there. And that's because I have this panel pulled out on the left. If I reduce the size of that panel or just click on text to kinda of get rid of the panel. Can I get rid of the panel? How do we do this here? Okay, I guess I'm crazy, but uh, it wasn't getting rid of it. But now I'm gonna click on Waffle Soft and now I see my full toolbar. So advanced formatting, typography, uh, and then turn kerning on or off. Oh, that's why it looked good because it was already on. No wonder. Okay, so we have this, you see the spacing here now. The spacing's pretty poor. Um, I'm gonna put this over here so we can see it better. I'm gonna go to advanced typography, turn on kerning, and you can see how much more it tightens that spacing up. So yeah, I think that it still could be tightened a little bit more. Like between the S and the O, I would probably actually kern that if I could, but we don't have manual kerning quite yet in Canva, but we do have this option which makes fonts usable. Like this font is not usable on Canva and it's what I use in my thumbnails. But when I click on it and turn that kerning on, mm, now it's usable. I may switch programs now to create my thumbnails because Canva would actually make it a lot easier. And that is how you can now kern in Canva, whether it's font, text, that's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Anything, anything with letters, you can now kern in Canva.